Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Coxie1979 and today we're going to be doing part 7 of our Unity 5 first person shooter tutorial series. Um, in our last episode we uh, made the minigun and I've just done a few modifications on it. I just slightly shrank it down and uh, made these tips a bit bigger um, and I've divided the barrels into two. So I've just more or less grabbed all the barrels, shrunk them down and then duplicated that to make it so there's two separate barrels because I'm actually going to animate these in another episode and I just want these barrels spinning and not the ones at the back because this is where the frame and stuff's going to be. Okay, that's all. You don't have to do that but um, that's just what I've done. Um, in today's episode, um, we're going to be doing a bit of scripting straight off the bat and we're going to get our minigun to shoot and do damage to our enemy. So come down here, uh, create new JavaScript and just call it um, Raycast Shooting. We're going to be using Raycast Shooting, not Prefab Shooting. Um, if you don't know the difference, basically Prefab will actually shoot out a projectile of the end of your gun um, and Raycast will just more or less shoot out a straight um, beam in a straight line which you don't see and um, the ray car shooting is a lot more accurate and you pretty much would only, well I'd, I'd pretty much only use uh, prefab shooting to make grenades and things like that. Anyway we better get started because it's a fair bit to do so um, first of all we're going to do our first variable so var and call it the damage and that's going to be equal to 100 semicolon and then under function update I mean sorry under function start no actually we're not going to use function start I think we'll yeah we'll just do it in update so get rid of function start we don't need that we'll do it in function update um, and in here we're going to put a couple of variables as well so they'll be get they'll get called every frame var hit it's going to be a raycast so var hit raycast hit and then we're going to do var ray then ray equals camera dot main dot screen point to ray make sure that uh, the start of each of these words has a capital letter it's a vector 3 screen so this is basically the position of where the ray um, the ray beam is going to come out of when we shoot, so we we're basically it's coming out of the middle of our of our character or our camera, I should say. Zero point five screen dot height times zero point five. And then for the last one, zero. We get to finish off the um, parentheses because we've got two open parentheses, so we need to finish off with two, obviously, to close them both up. Okay. So now we've got that. We'll go down a couple of lines. Actually, sorry guys, I don't think I um. I'll zoom it in a bit so it's easier for you to read. Maybe one more. I know there's hotkeys for that, I don't care. Alright, let's go. So now we're going to do our if statement. So if input dot get mouse button down, this one here, thank you. Get mouse button down, yeah, mouse button down, yeah, because we only want it to shoot when we push the button, when we push our left mouse button down. 
we don't want it to keep shooting if we hold the uh, mouse button down. Well, um, for our minigun, yeah, we probably do actually. Um, we'll just do like this first, and then we can always change it for automatic fire later on. It's not going to be hard at all. Zero. So if input get mouse button down zero, which is our left mouse button, which is already um, an input for for Unity, like we don't have to add the key like we did for our E key, for our use key. Sorry, I just got confused then. I was doing parentheses instead of uh, curly brackets, which probably isn't the best thing, but anyway, if physics dot Raycast Ray hit 100 two more open and close curly brackets um, then we want hit dot no 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 not hierarchy type we want hit with a small h because that's our variable hit sorry what am I doing dot transform with a small t hit dot transform I'll just click on this before it changes it on me dot send message apply damage comma don't forget to put that in between the two um, quotation marks um, and we had that damage with us yes that one there and then send message options this one dot don't require receiver okay I think that's right so save that go back to unity Oh, don't tell me I've got a capital T in there somewhere. Is it? No. All right. Just leave that for now. Should be fine. Um, so grab this script, and we're going to put this on our first-person character. So you just drag that across to there. And then we are going to create another JavaScript and we're going to call this one, um, we'll call it bullet, bullet damage. I'll just double check this error, see what's going on. Send message options, don't require receiver. the damage the damage no that should be okay I think we shall carry on let's go back to your project open up the bullet damage script this is just a really short one um, get rid of these two do our own function so we'll do variable var bullet damage and that will equal a hundred and then we will do function on collision enter info collision Open and close curly brackets. 
info dot transform dot send message apply damage bullet damage send message options again and don't require receiver again okay so this is what it's, it's basically this is going to be on our player 2 and it's it's telling it what to do when the actual ray um, beam that we're shooting for our bullet um, collides with what it's hitting um, and it's telling it to um, apply the damage okay so save that go back to unity on collision enter collision all right I'll just leave all this for now until I've done all three scripts um, okay so do another script down here create JavaScript and this one we are going to call uh, enemy health open that up and we are going to delete both of these and we're going to go the variable var health so this is the amount of health that our enemy is going to have um, give him whatever you want we'll start with 100 and then we're going to go function apply damage um, that damage health minus equals the damage if health is less than or equal to zero so if the enemy's health um, gets it gets shot enough times um, his health is reduced to zero then we want him to be dead and now I've got to define what this dead means so we'll do that down here so the function for dead um, function dead open and close parentheses open and close curly brackets destroy game object you want the game object with a, um, a small g at the top not a capital at the front sorry game object so we'll probably change this up later on because right now if um, we, we shoot the enemy um, I think we're doing a hundred damage so we should kill the enemy with one shot um, he will just disappear straight away later on we're going to change all this so that he plays like a death animation and then maybe uh, lays on the floor for a, a few seconds before the body disappears you know what I mean so this is just to um, to test it all out and uh, get it working first okay all right so save this and then go back to unity if 
function on collision enter info collision ah oh, hang on look it's done it to me again that should just be info Yeah, that should just be info like that. Okay. Try that again. And go back to Unity. Okay, I see what's going on here. Um, stupid me. Or it collision. Collision. Should know because it didn't turn um, blue like that. So make sure you spell it right collision and then save it again that should be fine now it wouldn't be a tutorial without me making a mistake that's for sure all right what do we got now send message options dot don't cry see uh send message uh spelt um yep i've spelt message wrong there it should be like that hit dot transform dot send message with two s's save that rest of it looks okay okay wow as i said it wouldn't be a tutorial if i were making mistakes but um at least you know how to find and fix your mistakes all right so now we need to grab our enemy our torrent zombie in this case and put the enemy health on him so he's got a hundred um, and the damage that we're doing is a hundred so we should kill him with one shot basically um, Go into the game Enemy's gonna turn around and, and uh, chase us and if I go up to him and click bang he's gone Okay, so you can't actually uh, a bullet coming out um, or anything like that It's just an invisible ray which will change that later on and uh, make it so that hopefully um yeah, like blood comes out of the enemy or something like that when we shoot him, and yeah, we'll, we'll make it make maybe a, a muzzle flash or flames coming out of this barrel, maybe make it um, animate and spin. Um, yeah, and some sound. Okay, guys, excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you learnt something, and I'll see you in number eight. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.